Israel's soft power in the world is often associated with its desalinization program, the technology uh, to bring drinking water, portable water from the sea is something Israel has pioneered and certainly shared with many parts of the world. We're at the world's largest desalinization plant uh, and, and uh, to get a sense really of what it takes to uh, make desalinization plants of this scale, what is it that stops, for example, a country like India from having desalinization plants of the kind you have here, which in fact uh, contribute to making Israel water surplus country? Um, actually, I think um, India doesn't have anything that uh, should stop her from doing that. Actually, already in Tamil Nadu, you, you see this happening um, and they already have two plants uh, and there's a third one coming, probably a fourth one and uh, we hear more and more states in India talking about desalination, so I believe that soon uh, India will start to stride towards uh, independence in uh, getting its own water. Because the question one always asks is if it was so easy, so much of the earth is covered by seawater, if it was so easy to, to do desalinization, why would the world have a shortage at all? And now people talk about the next world war being fought over uh, drinkable water. Uh, hopefully we can help avoiding this war by uh, sharing our technology with other nations. Um, uh, desalination was uh, an expensive process uh, in the past, so probably the, the cost was uh, prohibitive. Uh, but today it's getting more and more um, cost effective, so I believe that uh, it starts to be more accepted and uh, we are going to see more and more desalination plants. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us. We're here at Sorek. This is, as I said, the world's largest desalinization plant, about 624,000 um, um, cubic meters uh, per day are processed over here of water. For The Hindu in Israel, I'm Sohasini Hendon.